Welcome back to another episode and in this video today we are going to add doors to our build. So let's begin. Um, the first thing I will open up my build preview of actor because what I want to do here is add already a pre-made um, pre-made instance for the doors because we will want to uh, manipulate our rotation in real time and this will be a lot easier if we have a pre-made instance for the doors. So I will add a static instance static mesh component and I will call this preview door and I will duplicate this and I will call this final door. This is because the first thing is going to be uh, for the preview and the other one is going to be for the finished uh, build once the doors are already complete and in the world already fully functioning and available. So for the static mesh let's add the doors and also for the other uh, we, uh, component we also want to set the same door like so. Let's leave it be for now. Here under the add instance what we want to do is drag this back and we want to check if this build mesh is equal to our doors like so. Let's do an if branch check. If these are not doors, if this is false we can proceed with our add instance component but if this is true we want to copy the last two nodes from over here we want to do a loop from this transform and uh, for this add instance to world space we want to drag in our preview of door and set this as a target. There we go and let's see now for our remove component we don't ever want to remove this um, instance component so what we are going to do over here is we will check if the component is equal to our preview of door component like so. Let's do a if branch check and if this is false then we can proceed with the false but if this is true then we want to remove instance from our preview of door like so and now we need to pass through a um, instance index. So let's simply drag this into our remove component like so and we are all set up and ready to go in our build preview of actor. Now in our third person character we want to plug in uh, the index so let's find the events here they are and over here we simply want to add our last viewed instance and we need to add this for both of these cases where we are running this function like so and this way the doors uh, door component should stay in the actor now let's actually spawn the door so let's go to our construction mode let's create a new function build door preview and over here First let's check the rotation. Let's get the rotation and let's check if this is equal to zeros. So basically is there a rotation or is there no rotation? If we can drag in our build preview, build instance and add instance to world space. Split the world transform, copy this node so one of these goes into true, one of these goes into false, both have the same target and also for both of them we need a rotation. So build rotation over here. Now let's work on the location. Let's make a vector for this one and let's make another vector for the bottom one. Now let's drag in build location one, split this, copy this so for the top one if the rotation is zeros we want to add plus 50 on the x-axis since the pivot point is slightly off compared to the um, log 
So let me show you. So as you can see, if we select the log, you can see that the pivot point is right in the middle, like so. But for the doors, the pivot point is right on the corner, as you can see. So if we basically align these in the same coordinates, let's copy, and let's paste. You can see that these doors are slightly off and we should move these 50 units in one or the other direction to align perfectly with the log. So that's why here we are adding this plus 50. So this is X, Y goes into here. And we don't want to use the Z from the build location. We also want to add 50 to stack the doors on top of the log. And now for the other one, simply going to copy this. And I'm going to change this to be Y. So Y plus 50. And now we can connect the Z, Y and X axis. So as simple as that. In the event graph, let's add our newly created function to the ID number 4 like this. I made a small mistake. Instead of being plus 50, we needed to have minus 50. So we can change the node to minus 50 or simply type in uh, minus 50 like so. So now they should align perfectly. So now let's test our doors. Let's create walls. So the doors are 2 meters high, so it's 4 logs. Select the door, boom, boom, so there we go. The doors are in place. So this was fairly quick and simple, so uh, we still have a lot of time. Let's add some bricks to our building system. I'm going to go to the third person character. I'm going to select my buildables database. And I will add a new element and I will call this brick wall. Let's add our bricks. And I will move this up a few units to make sure that this is ID 1. So we have uh, the log and the brick piece as well. And we need another one for the walls. So I will duplicate this. So now we have a brick floor and a brick wall on one and two IDs. So now we need to change our IDs in our construction system. Let's add two more extra pins and let's move these down. So three, uh, four goes into six, three into five, two into four and one into three. So now the one goes to our build floor and the two goes into our build wall. Now let's go to our rotation. And for the rotation also we need to add more pins. So we actually need just one more pin. Let's set the start index to be two. And the two and three can go into this one. And number four goes to the other uh, switch since the ID four is our stairs and two and three are the walls. So let's test this thing out. I think I've changed everything that we needed except for we need more buttons. We are running out of buttons. So in our build menu um, we will make this a little nicer later on. So for now I will add some more buttons. So this is going to be the brick floor button and the brick wall button. So I will move this up. So brick wall. And the brick floor. There we go. 
now in our graph we need new events for this build floor and build wall let's actually move the whole thing out like so this goes down and these come in so the floor first and the wall next let's move this up copy two more let's reconnect and there we go and for this we need the five and the six and there we go and these are all set up now we have plenty of buttons let's select the brick floor and as you can see now we have a tiny issue with the textures as you can see the top uh, the inner part inner cube is not transparent it already has a default texture but let's first test out building this and then let's fix the textures So as you can see the build is working pretty nicely we should add another another floor log floor block and the build is stacking up nicely so technically you could use this same um, principle with creating a uh, 100 by 50 by 50 blocks and simply changing the texture to however you like and uh, yeah the same same system should work exactly uh, with everything as long as the sizes are the same so now let's fix the texture issue for the preview and the issue is because if we would select our build instance we can see that we have one material and it is green but um, for this one what we can do is we need to select a uh, static mesh with most materials because as you can see if we select the brick only one of these stay green and here comes the new one which is the cement texture so if we change this to be green both of those will be green and everything will work nicely until um, we are changing it to be red so with this one um, if you already noticed this was not a good practice to do uh, to add set material on every time we run our uh, our construction mode so i will remove this node connect these to make sure that everything is still working and I will go down to my X where we are setting up the uh, demolition turning on and off so what I will do here is move these apart a little bit and I will pay, copy this set material and I will set it over here and we need two of these so well, let's move these back as well and here we have two as well and let's connect our build instance to the targets for all four of these nodes and on the top part once we turn on the uh, demolition mode these both need to be red and the bottom ones need to be green but let's reconnect this back together but for the second material we need to change the element index to be one so that we would set the uh, first material and the second material to be red or green depending on the situation so now if we would compile and save this press play as you can see our build preview is now fully green there we go and everything is working nicely we can also if we want to have a uh, brick foundation we can do so and add logs on top of our foundation like so but with logs you can see we have a tiny uh, margin 
kind of error, but it's not really an error. Uh, this is happening because, as you can see, the mesh is not um, not as wide on the bottom part because those are logs. So if you don't like this, then you should change the um, mesh to be cube instead of a round log. But yeah guys, so this was fairly quick and simple and that's going to be it for this video. In the next video we are going to move this whole build, finish it and we are going to move this to our game world. So like always, thank you guys for watching and see you guys in the next video.